And if you've ever actually had to go somewhere and use a tripod to try to capture some footage, sometimes you realize that maybe just one tripod and your setup is not nearly enough. Sometimes it can require you to have a second tripod, maybe even some additional stands, um, some kind of cages or something like that to mount some articulating arms to, to try to get some extra reach and uh, things like that. But I've come across this accessory that I've recently purchased that um, I don't know how I've missed this. I'm, I'm definitely a gear junkie when it comes to a lot of equipment. Uh, but this one thing I come across fairly recently because B&H had a, um, a deal going down for one of the brands and just kind of digging a little bit more, reading some other reviews and just kind of getting one that matches what I want. I come across this one from Manfrotto and it's uh, Manfrotto's 131 DD. Um, it's an accessory uh, kind of arm that actually goes on top of your tripod. It takes your one 3 8 inch head and turns it into four. So essentially you net three new ones. Um, they got two on the ends, which are really great. You can put like a ball head on there like I have here for this external monitor that I could use if I wanted to. Right now I have it off. It's really just for display purposes, uh, but it's really great. I could have a head on there. I can rotate this how I want. If you have a second an assistant or if you have uh you know the client wants to look at it you can always kind of turn it to the side like that and they can be watching um while you're you know focusing on all this type of stuff or you could have it kind of turn like this so that you still have your camera up here and you can still kind of focus on this because if you've ever filmed somebody a lot of times when you're making eye contact with them it causes their eyes to drift away from the camera especially if you're standing behind it and so when you're looking through the camera like this and you look up every once in a while, it kind of draws their attention away and you kind of see them kind of glance at and stuff like that. So sometimes when you have your monitor off to the side, there's less distractions over here that they can kind of do that. So having an external monitor is actually priceless and a very essential tool for anybody who's filming anything uh, these days, whether it be an interview, whether it be sports, uh, talking head thing like this, or uh, really anything else, even if you're getting B-roll. Um, external monitor not only is it great that you can see it off to the side but also because you can actually see a much larger screen than what comes on these uh, cameras right here this is a seven inch one most of them are usually about five inches which is still plenty large enough this one is also a recorder uh, that i use to capture a lot of my stuff as well so um, that's what's really great about having that on there it's, it's out of the way it works and uh, it doesn't really take up any additional space um, what is also on this, um, this accessory is two other heads that actually will slide back and forth. I don't want to slide this one back and forth right now because I am actually recording external audio right now. Um, but let me move this one back and forth and you can actually see kind of how that is. You see, so if you wanted to have a camera kind of off to the side, you could essentially do that. And that would allow you to kind of shoot from one angle or to allow you to kind of create some separation from... Uh, the camera so that someone's not having to look at you but what it will also allow you to do is it will allow you to actually have some extra reach so uh, quite often you'll notice on most video tripods uh, you don't have the call that comes out and then extends and then goes off to the side at a 90 degree angle like you can on a lot of uh, camera tripods so this one you can essentially move all this over and you can actually have the camera over here so you can use that to be shooting down if you wanted to you can have it to be getting out some extra reach over something that maybe you can't get a tripod to get some of that kind of cool footage. Maybe you're wanting to do some pan down over something so you need it to be out here and you're panning it down and now you're gonna have most of the legs out of the way so you can actually get more of that shot. There's a lot of different things you can do with that which is really great. One of the things I think is really handy about it is you can essentially put a, a head mount on one side, um, a ball head or whatever and you mount the camera to it and over here on the other side you could literally create kind of a plane. It could be a Lazy Susan, it could be um, a turntable, it could just be something where you could actually place a product on there and you essentially have now a two foot distance to shoot some product photography. Now obviously you don't want to do that with larger objects because you don't want to create a lot of perspective distortion, but if you're doing macro or if you're trying to shoot something relatively small, that becomes a table in itself and all you had to do was basically bring your tripod and all of your equipment and you don't have to set it up on a table you don't have to set up a secondary um, another tripod or anything like that it really kind of comes in handy to be able to do that um, and obviously with you having um, your tripod if you have a video one and you have a a ball head that you can kind of swivel a little bit you can give yourself a little bit of angle also 
if you're shooting something close enough, what you could do is you could have a camera on the end, a camera on the other end, and you could essentially have two cameras. Now, that's not as much difference as you, uh, distance as you normally will want for a two camera shoot, uh, but if you wanna have one set at more wide angle and the other one set at a little bit more tight shot, you could definitely pull off that, that, that appearance without looking like you're shooting all in the same place. And another thing to keep in mind, if you've ever shot sports or if you shot anything journalism, an event or something, um, if you're shooting with one camera and you're one person, it's really hard to get a lot of different things. It's hard to do tight shots and also get the wide angle without having a lot of missed shots in between there. So what you could do is you could put a camera on one side and you could literally have it just shooting wide angle of the entire event, um, or at least for most of the event. And then you could have the other camera with the more uh, telephoto type of lens or a zoom and you could be going for those tighter shots while this one is still recording you can still kind of do that and then when you're ready you can always put this one on something fixed and then you can adjust this one to be a little bit different so that you have some shots so at all times you can have a camera rolling now you could always do that with two tripods you could always have one sitting right next to it you can have one sitting across the room and walk back and forth ideally you normally will have more than one person shooting with you um, but a lot of times you can't afford that you know, and sometimes finding someone to be able to do it the way you're needing to do it is, there, there's a lot of trust that goes into that. But if you need to have it in a compact place where it kind of becomes your home, you could really just be right here and you could actually pull off some pretty amazing stuff. So you could always have, you know, the camera over here, put your audio here. You could also like here, you can see I have a cage around the, uh, the external recorder here, this Atomos uh, Inferno Ninja, Ninja Inferno, sorry. Um, and I could even, just mount the audio recorder to that, maybe even put a secondary microphone on that or something along those lines. It's, it's, it's pretty cool to be able to have this access right here and now. I bought this from B&H, which, which is where I buy most of my stuff. I buy from them or Adorama. And um, I think it cost me about $150 when I did get it. Um, but it's, it's built like a tank. It's phenomenal. It doesn't rotate once you have that thing locked in. Um, it's, really, it's really phenomenal. So. Um, if you have any questions regarding that or any other gear you see here, definitely hit me up. I'd be more happy to try to answer those. But thank you very much for taking the time to, to listen to me ramble. And uh, hopefully um, it helps give you an insight into some of the other tools that maybe um, you've been looking for or you didn't realize you knew you wanted until you came across it. Like I happened to uh, stumble across this one not too long ago. Thank you very much.